we check this out guys brand new vtx from hd zero the nano light this is going to be a lot of fun we're going to go ahead and just set up a little workbench right here super tired it's like one o'clock in the morning so staying at this awesome little tree house here just north of oslo okay so let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box Get my top secret notes for upcoming videos out of here and take a closer look at the HD Zero BTX. All right, so the first thing we got, of course, is some stickers. Love us some stickers, happy to have stickers. Now go ahead and look at this, the HD Zero Whoop Light VTX. And look at this silly little camera, look at this. I'm gonna crush it. I'm gonna break it with my gigantic, huge fingers. Look at this, wow, now that is a small, lightweight camera. If I close my eyes, I can't even tell I'm holding something. That is cool. Let's go ahead and pull this VTX out and see what comes in the box and get a closer look. Okay, and here we go, unboxed. The VTX is here. You can see how small it is. Uh, in fact, let me grab an American quarter here with a, our President George Washington's head on it. And you can see that the VTX and the camera are both not much bigger than a quarter. In fact, the camera itself fits nicely right inside of the quarter. Let's go ahead and zoom out and I'll show you a couple other things that came in the box. Now, the setup that I have here is actually pre-production, so there's a couple things missing, but for the most part, here's a little mini VTX uh, antenna that we can use, a 40 millimeter MIPI cable. Uh, this is your update port cable. And you can see it's different from the other VTXs because uh, it's a much smaller connector to save weight. And they gave you this little adapter board, but I'm not sure if the production version is going to have this adapter board or if the cable itself will just have both ends on there. Uh, here's some, of course, little wires for your soldering, a couple zip ties, which we'll use to hold the UFL antenna, and of course, some soft mounts here. Now, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the VTX and the camera. You can see, again, it's super small, super tiny, and this is the half-inch sensor that was in the HD Zero Micro V2 camera, which is an absolutely beautiful picture, and so I'm pretty excited to try this camera out with this VTX here. This Whoop Light VTX is capable of outputting 200 milliwatts of power. One little project I have coming up that I'll kind of show you guys and kind of my ultimate goal is actually to put it into this. And this right here is called a Fly Woo Nano Baby, Baby Nano, Fly Woo Baby Nano. I don't, I don't remember, but man, look how small this little drone is. It is tiny and it is going to be absolutely perfect for this VTX and this camera assembly. And that's going to be a future video, so let's not worry about that for now. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh these things up and see exactly how much it can weigh. And we're going to remove some weight really quickly. Ready? Boing! There we go. And boing! There we are. Okay. So you have these two metal covers that are just held on by clips. i do a little quick zoom in for y'all. There you go. You can see this little clip here, and there's another one here, and another one here. You pretty much just pry them off with something soft, uh, plastic ideally. Uh, I, honestly, I just used an X-Acto knife to pop it off but you want to be careful the worst thing you could do is probably like a damage one of these little tiny components so you do want to be careful but anyway long story short these are just protective covers uh, they're not necessary for the board um, but they will of course add some protection if you're not that concerned about weight it's probably best to leave them on but let's go ahead and weigh them now looks like you're saving about two grams if you take these metal things off between one and two grams probably this VTX on here, and we'll throw this camera on here, and see we're at six grams now. Of course, you're gonna need a cable. That's not yeah, okay. There you go. So looks like we're at eight grams. We're throwing these soft mounts. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like we're at eight grams roughly with all this stuff. That's pretty darn light. Um, also, when I do the modification to here, I'll be taking off this camera and this antenna. So actually, realistically, we're gonna be adding. I don't know, six grams. We'll be adding a total of maybe six grams to this build to turn it into an HD Zero digital FPV drone. 
I think that's going to be worth it. So anyway, that's enough of the specs and the measurements and all the technical nonsense. Let's go ahead and get this installed into a quad and see how the VTX performs and see what the image from this tiny little camera actually looks like. Here we go. Yes. Hey guys, come on in here. Okay, so funny thing, uh, I haven't actually installed the BTX yet and I'm well on my trip to England. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just set up a little workbench right here and get this thing installed. Okay, here we go. We got our hotel room workshop all set up. You can see we have our tools, parts, and supplies. This here is the quad that we're gonna be working with. It's a three inch Cinewoop made by iFlight called a Mega B V1. And I think it's gonna be a really nice test subject for this Nanolite VTX and camera. Also, it's gonna be a pretty easy installation for me to do tonight. And this was not successful at all. I'm super tired, it's like one o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I had a lot of issues. The mounting holes are 25 and a half by 25 and a half instead of 20, 20 or 30, 30. So of course I didn't actually have proper mounts, which is why I have one screw in here and I'm gonna end up taping it to the top plate. Uh, the MIPI cable runs backwards, so it creates kind of an awkward S here. Uh, I didn't have any sort of mounts for this little camera, and so I ended up taking two zip ties and burning a hole uh, into the zip tie here so I could put the screw through to hold the camera but actually that works pretty well. I had some other issues with the connection on my FC not giving 5 volts but I'm missing a bunch of tools because this is my airport workshop desk so whatever it is what it is it's not pretty but I think it's going to work for the test. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna test out the new HD Zero Whoop Light VTX and camera combination here on this beautiful coastline in England. Here we go. So here we are, we're back in Norway now, and we're staying at this awesome little treehouse here just north of Oslo. And we're doing a bit more testing of this VTX and camera assembly. Now I gotta tell you, this camera and VTX combination is working really, really well. The image quality from the camera is absolutely outstanding, especially considering the fact that it's so small and lightweight. Uh, now the VTX is super lightweight and small also, and at 200 milliwatt, I've had no problems with range or penetration, and it's absolutely outstanding. 
Now you're probably wondering, is there anything I don't like about this camera or VTX? And honestly, no. There's the real, I have nothing bad to say about it. I guess if I really wanted to nitpick, there's a couple things and it's really just me not knowing a whole lot about tiny whoops. Um, the spacing for the VTX is like 25 and a half by 25 and a half. I, of course, was expecting either 20 by 20 or 30 by 30, which is what I normally run on my larger drones and cine whoops. So I had a little bit of complication installing it, but that's really on me, not on Divi Math, because I think most tiny whoops probably utilize the 25 and a half configuration. Um, also, the way that the MIPI cable is attached, you actually end up putting it backwards, or at least the way I'm using it, it ends up creating kind of an S. But again, I think for a tiny whoop, which is what this is designed for, that's actually not a negative, that's a pro. It just depends how you're utilizing this VTX and HD0 camera combo. And I think a huge kudos goes out to the team over HD0, Carl, the testers, everyone that put in effort to produce this combination of VTX and camera. Props to you guys, thank you. This is an absolutely awesome achievement. Really good work. Let's jump back to some more footage and check it out. <laughs> 